Last week, a friend of mine asked me if I can make him this thing three times. Yes, I can. Now, I have absolutely no idea what it is. It's just uh, some kind of a uh, thing with two flats and if I got it right this side goes in a drill chuck so this diameter is not really critical this one is 10 millimeter and this diameter here we have almost 15 and the rim we've got here 18.5 total length 47 Right, the idea is to put this thing here in the lathe and then start with the biggest diameter of, uh, what did we say here, 18.5 and then cut the three pieces out and do the other features. And of course it starts, well, putting a hex in a forge out shirt, that doesn't work very, very well. It works, but you know, I think it's better to put on the tree jowl. To center the chuck I have a nice little trick that I suppose you already know but in case you don't. Right, I use a piece of a lawn mower. Now this is the pin that goes to the piston and I put it in here. Of course make sure there's no chips and all the change in here and then tie the thing not too much, not to, not to deform it. This is a very nice and precise ground little part. And the rim that holds the chuck in place on the back plate, I cut it a little bit smaller. So now I have play. Right, let's nip just a tiny bit. Test doesn't move. Good. And now, now all I have to do is tap the thing so that here my, the needle of my tile indicator doesn't move anymore. High spot is here. And after a little bit of hammering, of course, with my plastic hammer, the runout I have now is two one hundredths of a millimeter, but more or less a half a tau for the Imperials. So as you can see, these uh, chucks that you can uh, adjust, they are very nice, but they are also very expensive and you don't need all you need is a little piece of a long mower. Right, enough blah blah. Let's make something.
Right, let's cut deeper. This one we said was 18.5 and this one is now huh, 18.6 that's good And here they are. Now this one still has a little bit of thread in it, but that's not really a problem. It will disappear in the smallest diameter. I forgot how much. Right, the outer diameter is 18.5 something and we should go to 14.7 over a length of 18.3. Yeah, spot on. In here. Fourteen point sixty five. It's a tiny bit undersized. Okay. To start working on this side, what I did. I installed this part here in the chuck up to the shoulder and then I touched off with my tool on this face 
and I set the zero here. So now I have very easy to make them all the same length. Right, I leave them a tiny bit oversized, so at the end when I do this uh, taper kind of uh, feature here with a round nose tool, I will do a finishing pass to blend in this radius here. To make these two flats here on my three parts, I would like to do it in the shaper. But because of the vice is in the wrong direction and I have to change setups twice per part, I think I will do it here in the milling machine. Because this will be a little bit faster and also easier because now my part is held down in a little V block and it is straight up so I can side mill this side and side mill this side in one setup. But before I do this first something else. These are not YouTube channels, but still, of course they are more than welcome on the cheap door.
I admit, it's maybe not really spectacular as a job, but it's a job and it has to be done.